Hey, it's Pat again. Now that we have installed the custom dash, let's see if we can change some things. Depending on the country you're from, your units of measurement might be different. So if you want to change bar to PSI or miles per hour to kilometers per hour, you can do that on the first tab in the first part of the main menu. Right here and right here. You can also turn on your GPS module by changing its settings here. Let's customize the theme. I'm going to import one first. This is one of the many dashes you could buy through our store. The link is in the description below. I'm pretty sure not all customers have the same type of car, whether it's force induction or NA. Some gauges that come with the theme probably aren't useful to some as they are to others. For this example, we can use the manifold pressure gauge or boost. There are two ways that you're able to manipulate the gauges. One is from the dash itself and the other is through the text file. Using the screen should be fairly easy. The downside is that there are other parts in some themes that may make this difficult. Those elements may get in the way of you moving things around. The second way is by editing it directly through the text file in the code. The sad thing is it doesn't give you any visual reference of what you're doing. Let's start by changing the boost gauge title. We're gonna do this one on screen. Start by entering the editing mode by double tapping the screen, then going down into boost and double tapping the boost. The window on the left gives you all the editable parameters for the text element. Let's change this to feedback knock. Since we're keeping everything else the same and just changing the title, click close. As you can see, feedback knock is longer than boost. We're gonna have to try and do our best and slide that word back over. Cool, I think that's okay for now. Now let's change the gauge. Double tap on that option. As you can see, the RPM number is now overlaying over the window. This is what I mean by some elements of the theme may get in the way. So we're gonna repeat the same process, double tapping and entering the editable screen. And we're gonna change the data source from boost to knock. And now we're gonna select the data source as knock for that gauge parameter. Good, now that it's set, click close and we're set. Now feedback knock is now an option. We can save the screen. And now this is forever the setup for this display. And that's how you change the gauge title and or the gauge parameter on your custom dash. To change the colors, go back to the editing menu, tap the colors options, and this will give you an entire window of all the colors that you are allowed to change. Sometimes there's a glitch with the RPM bar that it will not show any color when the theme is imported. Sometimes you have to select your gauge bar color, select a different color, and return back to the original color that you had selected before. Okay, now let's load a theme that might give us some issues when customizing its features. I'm gonna import the RSR yellow dash with lights. And now I wanna change a feature on my RPM bar. If I double tap RPM, as you can see, this is not the RPM editing window that pops up. Also, other parameters like the gear, gear shifter number and the AFR and the AFR text are also on top of this window. Some of the easier ways to go about fixing this is to do it in the code. So we're gonna head over to the computer and do it manually in the line code via the text. Now that we're on the desktop, we wanna locate the text file. I'm currently connected via Wi-Fi into the dash in the user dashboards folder. I'm gonna scroll down and look for my RSR yellow dash with lights and custom text. Let's open that, view and edit. You can open this with any kind of word uh, processing software. I'm just using the notepad. In this line of text, you can look at all the code that pretty much makes the theme work. What do we wanna change? Boost. Let's change boost to knock. So we're gonna look for a line that has the name boost in it. This line right here. So let's start by changing the actual title name from boost to knock. Or like we did before, feedback knock. But let's just do knock for now because we know it fits. It's the same amount of letters as boost. Now we're gonna look for another line code that has to do with the actual gauge underneath itself. Let's change that to knock as well. And here we have the line for boost pressure itself. Let's change the boost pressure to a line code called knock. Once that's done, you can easily just save and close. Let's reload this theme and see if our effects took place. This is yellow with the yellow dash and text. Bam. As you can see, this has changed to knock and the parameters are also pertaining to the knock settings. And this would be the quickest way on how to change your gauges via the text files.